Over the summer in Anchorage, Alaska, bike theft has been on the rise and most of it's caused by the homeless people and people that do drugs. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to properly profile somebody on the street that has a bike that might be stolen. So first and foremost, most common bikes that are getting stolen today are mountain bikes because they're very versatile. They have shifting gears. Uh, it's very universal for women and guys. And then you also have the next bike that's BMX and stuff like that. For what I've seen in the Anchorage community, it's been mountain bike. And most of it has also been a lot of full suspension bikes. If you guys don't know, full suspension bike usually costs at least two or three times, even four times more than a hardtail that doesn't have a rear suspension. The first thing you wanna do is when you see a bike that might be stolen, um, try to identify what kind of bike it is. And usually bikes from Walmart and stuff like that, it's not very favorable for these. <coughs> Usually Thieves likes to go for like the higher end bikes, name brands, um, disc brakes, and stuff like that. The common thing you want to look for is, is the bike in good shape. If it's in good shape, most likely it's stolen after you profile them. So, um, But you also want to look at the bike. If it's been rattle canned or if it has miscellaneous different parts and stuff like that, it definitely might be stolen. And the next thing we're going to do is profile somebody. So if you're looking at somebody, the first thing you want to look is at their personal hygiene. The good people that own bikes, they know how to take care of their hygiene. They know how to take a good clean of their look. Most of them are very athletic. They like mountain biking for a reason. It's good exercise. It's good for their health and stuff like that. So usually their hygiene is in good shape unless they just got done shredding like a crazy trail. They might be slipping and slopping. The other thing you want to look for is the way they're dressing. You can see the way I'm dressing. I'm dressing very good. I'm wearing a t-shirt to keep me cool. I'm wearing shorts to keep me uh, movable, flexible, and breathable. Most people that you're profiling, they're either wearing pants, they're bagging their pants, their pants are way too big, um, they're wearing like a big heavy coat, a heavy sweater, stuff like stuff that you shouldn't be wearing when you're out there going on a bike ride. The other thing you want to look for is people that don't have a helmet. If you have a $2,000 bike, most likely you care about your health and the safety of your health. So you always want to wear a helmet. So a lot of these thieves or people that we're profiling, they don't have a helmet. You'll see them without a helmet. And these helmets are really affordable. They cost like maybe less than 100 bucks for a good helmet. So if you see them without no helmet, that's a clear tale that it might be stolen. The other thing you want to look for is their footwear. You can see I'm wearing just regular sneakers and that's what I like to wear when I'm riding this bike. <laughs> a lot of these thieves, they're wearing shoes that keeps them warm during the night. <laughs> and sometimes those are big heavy boots. Sometimes those boots are loose, they don't even tie it. So you always want to look out for that stuff. <laughs> the other thing you want to look out for is that they always carry a lot of stuff. You can see right here, even though I have a backpack, my backpack is very small. I have a water bottle in there, a hand pump, and my air tube. That's all I have. And you got to put my spirit, my keys and stuff like that in there. Things that I don't want falling out of my pocket when I'm riding. A lot of these thieves are, are vagrants. Uh, people that are stealing these bikes, they have a big backpack because usually they have their clothes, all their belongings, and sometimes they have these uh, the tools to break into these bikes and steal these bikes. So those are just some things to look for and how to profile somebody that might be doing, might have a stolen bike. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you a sample of, uh, of a gentleman that looks like he might be might have a stolen bike and a clear example that he's not dressed properly for the bike. The last thing you can also do is you can also go to these people and you can just ask them to bust a wheelie. If they can't bust a wheelie on a mountain bike that they own, most likely it's stolen because everybody that owns a mountain bike most likely know how to perform a wheelie or at least do it. I'm not the best at it, but I'll show you guys an example. So check this out. Did you guys see how awesome that was? And there you go, my friend. That's how you profile somebody. Once again, this is not discrimination. We do not base on race, sexual, or anything like that. We base it on how they look and how they carry themselves. Hope this video helps, and I'll see you guys next time. And let's stop these bike thieves. We have a uh, suspicious, suspicious activity profiling. Uh, this gentleman here has a bike. Very, very uncommon. He was walking his bike. Got some old school military boots on, which is not common for a bicyclist. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's going on, guys. Profiling 101. This is how you profile a suspicious bike. Yeah, it's definitely profiling. 
Look at that suspicious bike. Super suspicious. Rattle can up. Big ass lock. I got disc brakes. Looks like a. Uh, it's not a single speed. Dude's checking it out like he doesn't know what to do with it. This is why we profile people. If you look like that, yeah, we're gonna profile you. Guy's trying to go to the uh, hoarding Mount Mart. Probably get some parts. 